Hey guys, and welcome back to Soma. Now, I have changed my recording setup. Um, I'm finally recording through my capture card uh, on my PC, which I have never done. Um, my last graphics card, I couldn't use my uh, PC through it because of uh, HDCP, um, and there's no way to disable it. This graphics card works well, so I thought, huh, holy shit. I can use my graphics card, uh, my, my capture card, because my capture card has so many spiffy, juicy features um, that you cannot get on OBS or anything like that, to my knowledge, you know. Um, for instance, I have now have a really cool microphone plugin, which I think the microphone is sounding absolutely crispy as fuck, if I say so myself. You guys will have to let me know, obviously. Um, and I've got it to the point now of all these encoders and things where I'm pretty much not impacting the performance of my system. But what I do like um, with this capture card is it has a feature that when I'm talking through the microphone, it automatically on the fly lowers the game volume. Right, no big deal, okay? However, I didn't realize how special and unique this feature was until I started looking into it. Um, to use something like that with Shadowplay or OBS, you actually have to buy, and again, to my knowledge, um, there may be ways around it that I don't know about, but the, <laughs> I have looked. The only way you can do it on those programs is if you buy a separate hardware sound deck and you fiddle with it through, uh, going through that way, but they're like a hundred quid for something decent, and, uh, <coughs> I don't really want to spend that kind of scratch. So hopefully everything's good. Anyway, welcome back to Soma. Now, I I haven't played this game for about a week and a half. Um, but we, ah, we were running the simulation and we actually needed to get uh, more information, didn't we? Yes, 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 yes. I remember. Now this video is probably not going to be as long. A, because I have blown all of my recording time today. Um, sorting out my sound levels and whatnot. Um, B, I don't want to go for a massively long video and then find out that it's completely fucked. However, I am confident at these settings. Anywho, we have this computer over here. Right, so, local, 34% storage free. Oh man, I wish my local drive had 34% storage free. I've got a 256 gig SSD, and I think it's got 2 gigs free on it. I think I did used to keep it about 15, 10 gigs clear. Um... Because the more you fill up an SSD, the faster it degradates. Um, SSDs do have a certain lifespan. Uh, but due to the Windows update, that's just literally the new ones, just eaten 10 gigs. So, hmm. so who do we have here? We've got Imogen Reed and we've got Guy Conrad. But we have more test environments here. Waterfield still tanks, sen sensory limiter. Now that sounds like something we want. Let's... Transfer denied. Restricted file. Oh. Oh, okay. There is actually a card reader there. Uh, okay, so I'm guessing by using all the power of my brain, which admittedly isn't always a lot, we need that one. Okay, so I spent ages uh, fumbling around with this in the last video, if I remember correctly. Um, I hope that's good. It's probably good. You know, we're not even going to worry about it too much. Not even going to worry about it too much. Right. Whoa, that sounds... Excuse me. Alright, I think that uh, other chip has now gone to the fourth dimension. The fourth dimension. Yes, the fourth dimension. Uh, right, so uh, that's local. So the chip's got a little bit free. So we can take... Let's take the float tank. Copy to chip. Really? Right, well the scan room we can put on. The beach is already there. Alright, well I guess that's all we can do. We can't transfer these guys over. So we now have the scan room. Okay, well, I guess that's where he got his brain transferred. I guess this is the scan room. 
That makes logical sense. Um, and I know I've got a couple of comments for this game that I haven't caught up with yet. I have read them, I just haven't replied yet. Um, now, slot one chip. Loading environmental data. Um, well, we are going to have Alice loaded and we shall have the scan room. Now, we're going to torture this poor chap. Just a little bit more. That wasn't so bad. This robot really got me worked up. Bastard. Well, that's what you get for listening to his stories. I guess I had it coming. About Strohmeyer. He said he needed a new site for ASAP. What should I tell him? It's alright. I can talk to him. Wait. Didn't Sean just tell you to take it easy? Don't worry, I'm not going to tell anyone. I do feel hungover. Okay. It's 1729 over 42. 12 over 407. Got it? Yeah. Absolutely. I'm sorry, Mr. Luan. Red. Goodbye. No, wait. That's enough. We got what we need. Is that what we are? Simulations? Yeah, but it shouldn't make any difference. You're still you. I'm not yeah. sure what to do with the data. You decide. So we can erase him or shut him down. Let's shut him down. You never know. He may get a chance at life once again. I don't want to play God. I already feel really bad for taking that droid offline earlier. Um, which we really didn't have to. Um, I mean, whether the, the emotions they're feeling are real or not, that's not really for us to say. I mean, they're certainly real to them. Um, so, we're going to leave that. We can get to the now. Get back yes, here. yes, yes, I'm coming, I'm coming. Let me guess, now we're going to have waves of monsters. Because there's a lot of creepy stuff in this, uh, in this particular building. Or at least that door has cracked open just a little bit. We just have extracted the cipher from Brandon's data somehow. It's so cruel bringing him back like we did. No, that's impossible. Memories don't work like that. Let's just hope it was worth it. Well, there's only one way to find out, my friend. There Let's give are. this a go. Just warming up the dumbbat for us. It's been collecting dust for months, so it might need a minute. All right. Okay, that's it. That's everything. Let's go ahead and... Huh. That's weird. Huh. Never mind. What, what do you need me to do? What's weird? Head inside the what's dock. Weird? The Omnitool can open the door now. And get into the Dunbat. Then plug me in and I'll take us into the Abyss. Sounds easy. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I would be concerned over what she said was weird, personally. But, uh, okay. Right, to the Dunbat. Well, we didn't want to live forever anyway. Uh, yeah, what way was it to the Dumbat? No, really, what way was it to the Dumbat? It's got to be this way. Um, excuse me. Out the way. Thank you. Simon, that was a pretty useless, uh, a useless throw. But I shall forgive you, because you're not used to your new body. Um, so, going under? No? Alright, well, if we... Okay, so how do we get to the Dumbat then? There was actually a door up... Oh, yes, yeah, so we don't want to go back down there, those, uh, strange monsters. Oh. Oh, well, you've... You've locked me out. Well, that um, significantly lowers our options. Is there? I mean, it seems pretty obvious that we've got to go through there, but how? That door is deactivated, but that's just a shitter anyway, so... That doesn't really matter. Uh, Catherine, it's times like this where I need you to pipe up. But you can't, because you're in power efficiency mode. 
Uh huh. Okay, so I'm guessing we do have to go through here somehow. We have that. Uh, attention, Stank. Oh, door opens and closes automatically. It does? Uh, it's not opening. Oh, this door. Aha! I am being silly. That's okay. We come to expect these things of me. At least we're not going through there with all the blood and everything. All right, what are we what are we looking at here? And there's some wonderful music. And again, I will apologise if there's anything strange with the audio. Um, I'm hoping that everything's going to be okay. I would have liked a little bit more time to test. Uh, however, if I had spent more time to test, this video wouldn't have made it up today. Um, ooh, buttons. I like buttons. Ooh, lots of buttons. I'm getting a feeling I'm not going to like these buttons, actually, looking at them. Okay, we apparently twist them, but that doesn't do anything. Up and down doesn't do anything. Left to right doesn't do anything. Twisting them doesn't do anything. Let's try the master switch. No? Hmm. Intriguing. It has to be something to do with that. I guess I'm not quite grasping the controls. Warning. Watch out for moving doors. Noted. Noted. I shall watch out for the moving doors. And moving buckets. Oh. Oh. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. Let's just yeah, give this a shove. Oh, this is a lot better than the ladder that I was using at work. I was using a ladder at work. Uh, not yesterday, the day before. And um, it was missing a leg. Uh, yeah, everyone was refusing to use it. Uh, that's not good. But I came up with the ingenious idea that if the ladder is missing a leg, well, it was missing like the um, the plastic stop at the bottom, and uh, I seem to be the only one that had the brain of an idea to say, why don't we just take all of the stops out of the other three legs, and then they're all on the same level. I get the feeling nobody else just wanted to use it. We've got a lot of young kids working with us, and. Uh, they don't seem to understand that a job goes two ways. Yes, we are all only there for money, but we all signed the contract. We are there to work. And besides, if you're not working and you're sitting around doing nothing, that's really boring. Okay, so I'm guessing we s need power. Ah, can we? Ah, right. Hello. Uh, do you have a socket? I'm assuming you do have a socket, or if you don't have a socket... Yes, why did you not go in? Come on. Here we go. Have you tried plugging it in? Ugh. Come on, Simon. There we go. Right. Now, das is gut. Oh. Okay. Maybe we need to fiddle with this first. Where does that go? That goes... Kind of hard to see. It goes up. Oh, that's actually to the dumbbat. Or... Yeah, I assume that's the dumbbat. Ah, we now have a green light. Cool. Let's boot this bastard up. Um, well, we're not going out now. Okay. That. Oh, okay. So we just have to charge all of these up. Ladies and gentlemen, start your engines. Oh, that thing is cool. I like it. I'm a fan. 
Preparing release. Uh, let's quickly turn you off. Shit. Well, it looks like, um, someone had inhabited it. Well, there's uh, unforeseen consequences. Shit. Bugger. Uh, mister? Mr. Button? Nope. I guess we're fragged. Damn it. Okay, well, this is now working. Ugh. That's the trouble with sentient consciousness. They get into everything. Well, I guess we are going to go to that bloody room. Well, Simon, I've said it before and I'm probably going to say it again. I th Ooh, loading. I think this is going to get worse before it gets better. Plan B. Yeah, so it's always good to have a plan B. Sometimes C and D don't go to miss either. Um, I guess this is the right way. I don't want to go the right way. I want to go the wrong way. Generally speaking, there's some nice loot hidden in the wrong ways. Uh, please don't stand up, Simon. Thank you. Although there is also the possibility... Ah, this doesn't look good. The possibility... No. That the uh, wrong way leads to nothing, or the wrong way will just loop around. Never mind. So, more monsters, I'm guessing, Simon. I know it. You've been excited. I'm certainly excited to see some more monsters. I wonder if they're going to be the same... Oh, they might be the same zombie things again. Because so far, every area has had its unique enemies. Which is actually really nice. I like it. It kind of keeps the game fresh. Not to rag on Resident Evil 7. Uh, which basically used the same three enemies over and over again. Which, which wasn't too bad, because the enemies were good. But it is nice to have a little bit of variety. I mean, I suppose, when you think about it, Resident Evil has never had a lot of enemies in each game. Mainly comprised of zombies. Lickers, hunters, bandersnatchers. Um, with a few uh, surprises as well. But I think with uh, Resident Evil... The core enemies, like the lickers, hunters, spiders, zombies, they can quite easily recycle those because they were so good. They were awesome enemies. Never got tired of fighting those. In fact, I would love to be fighting some more zombies. Uh, yeah, Catherine, things have gone a little bit uh, awry. I'm sorry. Huh? Wait, this isn't... No. Oh, no! to the Dunbat before we did, am I right? Well, yes. Talking. That's rarely a good sign. Damn it. The Dunbat was our best shot. I was really banking on this to work. Come on, we can't quit now. There's got to be another way. How do you think you did it? How did the team get the Ark down the Abyss in the first place? If they didn't use the Dunbat, the only other way would be the Climber in Omicron. Climber? It's like an elevator which supposedly reaches all the way down into the Abyss. Okay, so we do that. We go to Omicron and take the elevator. Yeah. Okay. Sure. We'll just head over to Omicron and hope there's a power suit that fits you. You know, so you don't implode while in the abyss. <laughs> that does sound useful. All right, let's go then. Wait, what is this place? Seems to be a lot of information on the art here. There's a prototype and everything. Okay. Let's start it up. I want to see how it works. Maybe we can figure out how to get on the arc. Yeah, okay. That sounds like a good plan. You didn't know how to get us on? How difficult could it be? <laughs> uh, well, you're the um, computer engineer here. You tell me. I have no idea, my dear. 
This stuff is way outside of my area of expertise. Which encompasses a very small section. Growing section. But very small. Huh, very nice. Uh, right, so what do we have to play with here? Oh, okay. That's fire, all right. Quick stop at Omicron, then Tau, then five. Let's do it. Simple as that, huh? Okay. Shuttle to Omicron, change, yep, yep. Check on Tau, anyone alive. Access to Fi. Launch the Ark. Sounds simple enough, however. Power packs. Extra oxygen. Well, we don't need oxygen, luckily. Uh, prep arc with signal transmitter. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And stuff. Power suit. Proper usage. Hamatsu power suit. Proper usage. For safety of you and your colleagues, put on the neoframe undersuit and body harness. Check the HPS for any visual damage. Starting with the legs, fix the parts onto your harness and work yourself upwards. Lock all the pieces together as you go. Let a partner help you with the back piece and torso. Yeah, we, we don't have a partner at the moment. Um, at least not one with uh, opposable thumbs. You know. Tap the secure button on your arm piece. You should hear the suit seal itself. Yeah, sounds pretty cool. The suit will then start to equalize pressure and tap into the oxygen tank. If the suit doesn't seal itself, flex the shock absorbers and try again. If it still doesn't work, do not try to fix it by yourself. Contact maintenance, yeah. Uh, note, the HPSs are very heavy and the suit will compensate. You will effectively be stronger than you think you are. Be careful. Regular training applies. Don't hold your breath. Don't stay out too long. Don't dive too deep. Don't dive with malfunctioning equipment. Uh-huh. Fairly, fairly good advice there. Um, okay, that looked like we could fiddle with it, but I guess not. Right. Um, What's this ooh. thing? That's just a compound examiner. Coster uses it to investigate structural integrity and payload frameworks. Of course. Uh -oh. That sounds useful. If I knew what you were made of, it would be a hell of a lot easier to figure out how to get you on the ark. Alright. You know, Cat, last time we went into one of these things, um, or at least something similar, I was in Canada, and uh, then I woke up here. So, what could possibly go wrong, right? It's a bit of a tight fit. Can you reach the on switch? Uh, yes, yes, we can. Should I be worried about radiation? I think we're beyond that. Yeah. Interesting. You seem to be one with the diving suit you're wearing. Everything's meshed together. How's that gonna work with the suit we're picking up at Omicron? Um, I think they're bigger. You should be able to wear them both. Imogen? Who's that? It looks like the basis for your body is one of my old colleagues. A standard cortex chip for robots, including the data reader and the Ocu torch, has just been forced through the skull. What? Structure gel has fused the whole construction together. Amazing stuff. No, 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 no. Hold on. Back up. I'm one of your old colleagues? Well, your body is. Imogen Reed. That's disgusting. Hey, don't say that. She was my... She was nice to me. Anyway, the cortex chip is good news. That means we can transfer your mind to the Ark with a pilot seat. Cat, I'm half a dead person. Yes, it makes sense. Think about it. All those simplistic minds we've run into? Just reviving a dead person doesn't seem to work that well. A robot body seems to make people a bit unreliable. You are the best of both worlds. A sound mind and a sound body. Hmm, interesting. Okay. At least we know how to get on the line. Sort of. So we I do actually the concept, have, but I don't have the a body. I really wish we could figure out how the scan data is formulated and processed. That is actually really intriguing. I thought we were going to have a person in us. Is that? Yeah, I suppose in us. Or we're inside a person. Yeah. When you can see the, the bone structure. Hmm. Very, very curious.
But our head looks quite robotic. In fact, it looked like kind of like half our head was missing on that scan. Start an arc simulation. I want to see how it works. Oh yes, 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 yes. On the way, my dear. There we go. Whoa, that is a lot of memory. Approximately, oh god, so nearly nine terab terabytes of memory is corrupted. Okay. Right. Memory corrupts, uh, corruption detected. Please reduce the. Oh god, so our RAM is actually fragged. Um. We don't really need a dirt road, do we? Right, let's get rid of everything. And work our way up. Alright, okay. So, these are required. So, there are certain items that are just plain required. So... The Somaham light type. Somaham light type. But that's going to put us over our memory budget. Okay. That's needed. That is not. So we can get away without that. These we have to have. That's required. That's required. That's required. That's required. That's required. That's required. That's not required. That is also required. Okay, I am slightly confused here. Um, that is required. Oh, I see. Multiple packages have the same file, so we just pick the file that, or the, the package that has less data. Okay. Try loading a dummy scan. Shouldn't be that difficult. I just want to make sure I understand how the scan data is formulated before we start messing around with the real arc. Yeah. Run the simulation and then hit pause while the code is running. It'll give me a cross section of the process. Okay. Start simulation and. You need pause. to pause while the dummy is loaded, otherwise, I can't know if it's working or not. Okay, okay, stop. Oh, hang on. This is going to be hard, isn't it? Try pausing it when the dummy is loaded. No, yes, try thank again. you. The dummy needs to be loaded when you pause. Yes, thank you. This is going to be incredible. Ah, oh, I see. We can actually slow the process down. Oh. Well, who's the dummy there, then? Of course. Then? So precise. So perfect. Nothing like admiring your own work. What? Oh. Right. Um, okay. Are we done here? Can we, we go good? to Omicron and get my new suit now? Yeah, we should get going. Want to bring this arc as a backup? No, that wouldn't work. This is just a prototype. Good. I prefer to travel light. Let's go. Don't forget to take me with you. I won't. I kind of need you. And not just for your chipper company. Uh, this might actually be a very good place to end this video. I know it's a little bit of a short one, but I just want to make sure everything's suited and booted um, before I spend an hour plus uh, on a very poor sounding video. Um, so I'm going to end it here, guys. This is really cool. I'm enjoying this area. Um, I didn't think the Dumbat would actually <laughs> uh, be sentient, but uh, there we go. We've got to roll with the punches, I suppose. Anyway, guys. Thanks for watching, and as always, till next time.